Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor, and today we're going to be looking at the simple water shader for URP. And based on the review that I can actually see here, it does say that it's available for HDRP and can be usable if you activate HDRP for this asset. It has specific values for depth and shallow two normals for light refraction and refraction. It's got a vector displacement to create noise and it does have a render texture for reflecting objects and you just need to enable a setting in URP quality settings to enable transparency if you want that. And we're gonna look at this asset today. So make sure to add this to your assets and import that into Unity. You will get the simple water shader for by Ignite coders and it'll come with some prefabs, resources and demo. I've just opened up the demo scene here and we're going to just test this out and use this here and I'll show you the different settings and the way that you can use this. So be sure to throw a like on this video because it would really really help me out. So thanks so much. So in the demo scene by default it doesn't actually have these cubes. I've just put these in to simulate how you can look at things that are underneath. So it does come with a water plane which has got the material which is the shader graph water shader with various different settings and it does come with a water reflection camera which does the reflection to be able to take into account objects and reflective objects for render textures. These In the settings, it does say to enable depth texture if you want to take into account transparency. So if you want to do that, you can go into your project settings in the project tab and go to your universal render pipeline, high, low, or medium, and you can just tick depth texture and make sure that's ticked on each of your different quality settings that you want to use it. And when you select on your water, like this light blue ocean water that we've got here, I'm just gonna select my object and you can see that when we push this under the water, we can still see the object under water due to transparency. You've got a bunch of settings where you can have the deep water color. You can have the shallow color where it's when it's closer to any given object that you can see. As you can see that when we pull our object up, we get the difference in the color because if I set this again and I set the shallow color like so, you can see that we're shallowing this area and it's much deeper in an area where we don't have any objects near it. We've got the ability to change the depth. So you can see as I bring the depth forward, you can see that we can't see much of the object because it gets deeper. We've got a strength value, increase the strength of the overall look of the water that we have. We've got the smoothness, which controls how shiny or smooth the surface should be. We have displacement, which you can affect how the waves look in terms of, I mean, you can make them look a little bit weird like that, but <laughs> you do have some indication of how the displacement will go. You have a place for the normal tech, the normal and the second normal, and this controls the look of the larger waves and then the small ripples in between each of the waves themselves. And then you have the normal strength, so you can make it look very calm water or slightly more ferocious if you need to. You can set the tiling for the normal map if you need the waves to be bigger or smaller, depending on what you're trying to create. And we have enabled the experimental reflection property. You can't really see anything update because we have the reflection camera, which will bake this in for us. So if we then press play and we test it like this, you can see that now my reflection has been baked in based on the actual object that we have. So you can see it reflected in the top of the water. And then we have control over the reflection power, the distortion power of how distorted and the normal effects for different shaders with whether you want emission and GPU instancing. You can set this object underneath your water and you can see my cube there. And as we change the depth, you can cull that object away. So it's not quite as deep in that area and it will always be changed no matter where we put our particular object. It's a very cool water shader for URP and HDRP, and you can be able to control some basic parameters for it. So let me know what you think of this. Be sure to thank the developer for the great asset. So be sure to come and support me on Patreon if you want to get access to free scripts, projects, and stuff you can't find anywhere else. Come and chat to me on Discord. Do check out my great assets on the Unity store, and thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.